You're 147. Great 
you're in the same country, except a buy in your field, keeping watch over the flock by the mother. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord stood around them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings a great joy. Which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the baby, wrapped in swine clothes, and lying in him. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heaven hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth. Peace, good will, and it came to pass as the angels were gone away. But if you have the seven said one to them, let us now go even to God and see this thing which is come to pass. For the Lord has made known. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying. In mean, is that you want to look at Matthew's child, the Majestic gift, the Majestic gift. Father, we're so grateful to once again to open your word, to be encouraged and be strengthened by your word. Walk for the next few minutes, said your word. Help us to understand the importance of this gift. That you came in a human form. Born a little baby, born in that town of God, for the purpose of going to the cross, to pay the sin that of the entire human race. For I said, bless not God, for in Jesus Christ we have grace to Amen. What is, why do we call it an objective? The word object is pretty much saying that as we give the word magic. But in this situation, when Christ came, it wasn't to, to, for him to come and do some miracles or powerful things. Even though he did that, it was came for a that is to go through. You know, I mean, objective is pretty much the same thing as we say as a match. It is a match. It's not like you go to a magic show and some boy right out of hat. That's not where it's looking. But what we're looking at is how can a virgin woman who was never had a relationship with a man, never had any contact with a man, how in the world did she was able to bring forth a child? Sounds complicated. Sounds difficult, doesn't it? It doesn't. In order for a woman to even have any way to bring forth a child, that person had to have a relationship with a man. But listen, that was the unique thing about the birth of Christ. It, it took something very special. It says it took something very difficult in order for this to expire. First we see we see the announcement of the angel. The announcement of the angel. When it says verse 89. And they were in the same country, separate. Abiding, keeping watch over the flock, and lo, the angel of the Lord 
king of Sodom. And the glory of the Lord stood around and they were so afraid. They were so afraid. You have to say, why were they afraid? Because they saw something that they didn't see before. They saw something. They saw someone who they had never seen before. They had never seen an angel. They had quite heard things about angels. They thought great things about angels. But they never once came in contact with an angel. And this angel is more than just what more than a more angel. This angel was Gabriel, the head part angel. And every time Gabriel came, it was a king to announce something. It came to announce either judgment or prophecy that was going to take place. And here in Luke chapter 2, we see that angel came to prophesy, hey, the Christ child has been born. The Christ child has been prophesied over thousands of years, has now a father came to the earth. Came to the world. Came to the world for a purpose. To save your sins. Death. Here we go. Many people say, I don't know. I don't know. And what we understand today is we owe a great sin that we cannot. There's no way a person can be able to pay for debt than you. The first is Jesus. No way is made of a common man. We see God moving and working hard throughout world history. In a survey, nearly a third of those questions say that of all the persons men in the Christian story, they identified them the most with the son. They were added ordinary, everyday working and were revived to see the birth of the king of Jesus. See, the second word just normal people. Work in vain of men. Working for five for the family, but yeah, they were invited. They were invited to see the birth of Christ. They were invited. They had a personal invitation. But they told one thing fear not. Fear not. Why do people fear today? They fear because of the unknown. Because of the unknown. And my friends, there's a lot of fear today. A lot of fear. Fear for the country. But also, there's a fear of death. There's a fear of death. Not, uh, listen, people should be afraid of death. In reality, in spirit, what they need to fear of the word, they're going to spend in turn. And most people will be fear. Most people are so afraid for the life when they stand before God. And when God casts them to hell, they're going to fear. Number two, we see they made it in a storm. 
it, it says they were so afraid. They were afraid. They were afraid because they never seen an angel before. They never seen an angel. We receive, we see the company. The company. Notice the first king. And the angel said to him, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings, a great joy, which shall be. What he said, he said, Oh, Lord, I bring you good news, a great joy. Which shall be to all people. That was like that. There's great joy still today. There's great joy to all people, not just the left, not just for the beautiful and the the people who believe that salvation, that God chooses. Those who go to heaven, those who have hell. And let me remind you, that's not the case. That salvation is promised to everyone. He said in 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5. In verse 10, he that believe on the Son of God has the wisdom of him. He that believe not God has made him a lie, because he believed not the record that God did for him. And this, and this is the record that God has given to us in turn life. And this life is in his Son. He has life had the son, and he had not the life of God, had not the life. These things have risen to you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. What John is saying is, listen, you believe me, you have everything. Last life. Salvation is not for the last. Salvation is for those who believe and those who trust Jesus Christ as their seed. Their seed is what we see to comprehend. To comprehend. Notice in verse 11 and 12. It says, For unto you is born this day, and the seed of David, a day which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Lying in a manger. Listen. There was great joy. There was comprehension because the prophecy had finally been accomplished. Had finally came to pass. Well, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14 says, For unto you, for a burden shall conceive to bear a son to call his name Emmanuel. Well, the prophecy has been fulfilled. The prophecy, the promise of Jesus Christ, born in the manger, had finally came to reality. Firstly, Christ is identified. And first of all, the angel who revealed these provisions in a threefold sign of the Messiah coming. First, we see the location was fulfilled. The sea of David was the number of Bethlehem. Put the book of Micah, chapter 5. Micah. That's part of the truth. 
But thou, though thou be a Lord of all, thou wilt be. Yet out of thee shall he come forth unto thee, that shall be ruled in Israel, whose goings forth have been from old, from every last. Now that we see the cross, the perfect fulfillment, a thing, the promise of a city of Israel as well as the Now to now that, but we also see the perfect fulfillment. Christ is the Lord. It is the Messiah is coming. Who is the Lord? Who is the Lord? To the book of Isaiah chapter 9. Isaiah chapter 9. And a government shall be, so be upon his own. And his name shall be called one of the my God, the everlasting God, the Prince of Peace. The angels told the servants that they will find a baby rather right than the swan cloak. Verse 12. The swan cloak comes from the war which means swift, flaw. In Hebrew chapter 2, Hebrew chapter 2, verse 14 and 16. <clears throat> By the word of us, then as children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. And deliver them who through fear of death were all the lifetime subject to bondage. For there he could not on him the, the nature of angels, but took on him the seed of Abraham. In Colossians chapter 2, verse 9, the Bible says, For in him dwell all the fullness of the God. Bob. Second, we see the we see the the abolition of his heavy post. The abolition of the heavy post. Back to our text, Luke chapter two. Luke chapter two, verse thirteen, fourteen. <clears throat> And suddenly there were with the angel and multitude of the heavens were praying to God and saying, Glory to God on the highest, and on earth peace, good will. First, let us see this description of the Lord. Now when the, when the angels came, they were praising God. They were praising God. Because the Christ child had found King to have found King to you. Because he was going to come for the supreme person, a giant on that old rugged cross. Turn look at Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15. Genesis 3 15. Bible says, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy teeth and her seed, and to bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his head. Just the beginning. The book of Genesis declared that. Christ was going to be born. That Christ was going to suffer. 
that Christ is going to die to conquer death. To conquer the death penalty. So do you need be received and receive the declared on those. Who whose gospel is full of the glory and praise of God. An army of angels sing God's praises. They sing the praises of God. Listen, when Christ was born, it wasn't a silent night, but it was a joyful It was a joyful thing. Because the death, the sins of the world will finally be paid for for the world. That mankind will not have to die for their sin. That the, the gift of eternal life through his son will be paid for. Through the sacrifice of the Lamb of God. Of the Lamb. Hebrew chapter 1. Verse 68. Hebrew chapter 1. Verse 68. And again, when he brought, so when he bring in the first God of the world, he said, and let all the angels of God work. And the angels, he said, who make his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? By to the Son, he said, thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. <coughs> the scripture of brightness is in the scripture of thy All the angels that day came to praise and glory to God because Christ was found king to be God. Starting with life, we see that we see the action of the shepherds. The action of the shepherds. Which is verse 15 to 17. And came to pass. And the angels were gone away from them into heaven. And the shepherds said to one, Let us now go even to Bethlehem and see this thing which the Lord has been from them. And it came to pass. And, and, one time, and when they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and Faith lying there, and when they have had seen, they may know abroad the same which it was told of them concerning this child. Verse we see, we see the pursuit of Christ. In verse 10, the angel told the shepherds that he was bringing good tidings and great joy, which shall be to all. This announcement was a good news to all because Jesus Christ came for all people. Jesus Christ he came for a certain group, a certain of people. But he came for all people. He came for the entire human race. Listen, Jesus Christ does not love one certain group of people, but he loves every See, John said, three verse 16, God said, for God will love the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe upon him should not perish, but have a blessed life. God loves each and every person. One thing I said, while working as a mother, I had many children ask for electronic training. If we get a train, I will tell you each one. You you will you know your dad is a going to want to play it with you. 
Is that okay? The usual answer was a quick yes, but after I took one more, this question, he became very quiet. Trying to move the conversation along, I asked him, well, if you like Santa's ring, it probably required another train. Listen, God came, not for a certain group of people, not just a certain race of people, but he came for each and every one of us. He came for each and every one of us. Some sort of idea is for God. I get to the 49. In verse 6. And, and he said, It is a light thing that they too be my servants to rise up the tribe of Jacob and to restore the reserve of Israel. And I will. Also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation to the end of the earth. Thus take the Lord, remember of Israel and his holiness to him who man despised, to him whom the nations abhor, to a servant or rulers, kings, succeed a rise princes. Also, so worse because the Lord thy slavery and the Holy One of you, and He subdues you. Listen. He said, Listen, I'm not come for a certain group, I'm not come for a certain nation, but I'm come for all people. I'm come for all people. All group of people. That's your come. This is why John the Baptist was sent to a clan, the mansion of life, the coming to the dark of the world. He came. In John chapter 1, verse 7 and 9, you can hear this verse. The same came for witness, to bear the witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not the life, but he was very, very with us all our life. That life was the true life, which life everything comes <coughs> into both lives. Just like the same thing. If you walk into a dark room and there's no light, your need is not going to but, but when you turn the light, you, you see it. Know what the light is? Know what Jesus the light. He, he sows our sin. He points the sin of our heart. Of our sin. That was Jesus. The gospel of John was declared he came to the world and to Israel, but not Arab will receive. Not Arab will receive. We receive the praise of Christ. The praise of Christ. Verse 17 says, And when they had seen, they may know abroad the same word was told concerning this child. First of all, see, the seven had to test on Christ. They may know. They may know. They may know that this, that the Christ child had fallen him to the Also, they had seen the Lord. They had seen the Lord. And they were told, first of all, they were told, they had heard the angel speak. This child would have been born in God. This child was also the promise. And the Messiah of 
to. There was a promise. He was promised. They were blessed as well as his people. They were able to tell others with and no two the seven had a testament to share. Notice this verse 18 and 20. And all that I heard wondered as those were told them by the seven, but Mary kept all things in common. And as she returned, glorified, praising God for all things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. These shepherds went back to change their sheep. They went back to their routine, but it would change. They would change. Just as that. that day you got saved. Where you lost. Do you continue to live that king lifestyle? At before you got saved. Before you got saved. You know what? We should never, ever live the same lifestyle we had before. Before you got saved. Paul said, for ain't if a man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are past. You know, all things. He said, well, it's something. It's just all things are become new. They glorify God, and they could not stop telling others about it. They could not stop telling them. Listen, the same thing. As Christians, we should never stop telling them about the gospel message. It's the greatest news that God offers, that God wants to tell the world. We also see the plan of the The word kept the train of the Greek. To know, which means to keep the keep within oneself, keep in mind a thing like it is done. Mary never got the thing near to you. Mary never, Mary not only remembered, but it says she thought, she put the peace on the heart. Now listen, the greatest thing that happened that the Christ child was born. That God is make that God came to the world in the world baby, in the world town of Bethlehem, or Christ, to die, to suffer all for you and I, so we can have to be redeemed. Good love. The blood of Christ. May we never forget the experience that we had when we got saved. Thank you that God came for Jesus and every A body we're so grateful that you came and offered the greatest gift. To, to, to mankind that was to die, that was to shed, that was to go to Calvary for the purpose for Christ. And oh, we're so grateful that you too. Even though you didn't have to, but you want to. And today you offer mankind the forgiveness of sins. Thank you so much. Now I ask this, dismiss the word, and Jesus Christ we ask for his sake. Amen.